what brings you to Space Tech Expo this year? Yeah, I am here for two reasons. I am, of course, delighted to meet the human spaceflight community. And secondly, I have the pleasure to talk about how we are going to make uh, the ISS sustainable. Okay, so you're, you're about to actually go on, aren't you, and do a session today. Yeah. You're allowed to, can you say a little bit more, or elaborate on what you're going to be talking about? Yeah, we are, I'm going to talk on a panel and the content and the objective is to explore jointly how we are ensuring a broader usage of the space station, how we are making the use of it more efficient and how we are preparing for the future. So how we are making the space station more sustainable because there is a great demand that needs to be satisfied. How important is the continuous use of the ISS and after its retirement? Uh, from my personal perspective, it's very, very important to continue the utilization of the station. Just to tell you a quick story, before I joined the human spaceflight community, I was not aware what a unique asset the space station is. And I only learned that, for example, a medicamentation against osteoporosis was developed on the space station. So my grandmother profits from it, all of us will profit from it, and therefore I want to make sure that the space station is here in the future to achieve uh, similar breakthroughs in the future as well. So that is quite fascinating, isn't it? I didn't know that. Um, what changes have you seen in the space industry in the last few years? Um, I am seeing a lot of changes in the, in the industry in the recent years. Number one, um, there is a, a huge drive towards commercialization, which, is, which means uh, the industry is taking more and more responsibility to organize uh, the operation of the station and human spaceflight in a, in a more efficient manner. But also, industry is taking responsibility to develop uh, commercial additional markets. The second change what I see is uh, bringing technologies uh, from other areas into, into human spaceflight. For example, digitalization, virtualization, cloudification. All of that is making human spaceflight more exciting but also more sustainable and uh, more easy to use for the end users. What trends and technologies do you think we're going to see more of in the next few years? Yeah, in terms of trends and technologies, definitely artificial intelligence. Um, this is going to help us, for example, to do predictive maintenance and basically react before the, the problem occurs. Uh, of course, 3D printing, for instance, is a big theme that is coming. Uh, automation in general, to make sure that we are not spending money on the boring stuff, but that we are spending money on the exciting stuff, perhaps one day going to the moon and Mars again.